Good morning. You're listening to 92.7 Arrow FM. And this is the Nothing Personal Show with Nikki King. Uh, and we are sponsored by Fuzzbox Designs, which is a, a digital marketing company. That's my business. And also wire rapper Osteopathy. And the marvellous Jane Burns, who has, has two clinics. One at the Wire Rapper Natural Health Centre, which is on the main street. It all the way through Carton. Um, and she's got a clinic at the Self Heal Clinic, which is on Lincoln Road in Masterton. So if you've got any aches and pains and you need some treatment, where upper osteopathy is a fantastic place to go. Um, and this show, as off, it comes off the back of the Wire Upper Women in Business uh, networking group. And uh, we have about 650 women in that group from all over Wairapa. And wouldn't you, you wouldn't believe that there was that many women who have businesses in Wairapa, would you? But that is true. There are 650 women in that group. So we have got a pretty diverse uh, group of women in Wairapa. And we uh, hang out on this Facebook group uh, called Wairapa Women in Business. And we do a little bit of networking. And as part of that networking, we do have a couple of meetups. We've got one that happens on the first Friday of the month, and that's at Clareville Bakery. And that's at 8.30, and that goes from 8.30 till 9.30. So if you're a member of the group, you can pop along to that. And we usually just have a brief introduction and a bit of a sort out. If you've got a problem, we'll, there's so many women in there, we can help you sort that out. And the third Friday, we meet up in Masterton at Don Luciano and um, we have a good coffee there it's same same sort of thing 8 30 till 9 30 although Shari from hot yoga for you is generally there from eight so if you want to turn up early you can do and that's the same format but we are news 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 breaking we are going to be doing something in South Wairapa because Regina um who was on my show a few weeks ago has kindly offered to facilitate something down in South Wire Rapper. So that's going to be fantastic. So even if you're a South Wire Rapper person, there's going to be a meetup for you. So yeah, if you want to join it, if you're a woman and you're in business, or if you're a man and you're in business and you want to come on the show and talk about your business, that's get in touch with me. I've got a Facebook page, Nothing Personal with Nikki King. Um, the website is wireupperbusinesswomen.co.nz and this show goes out across lots of formats. Anyway, this morning I've got two fantastic guests. I've got two guests this morning, so that's fantastic. Not so much pressure, but lots of fun. And we've got um, Leah from Wire Upper Dream Clean. Good morning, Leah. Hi, how are you? And we've got Bernie, who works for, works for Leah. Yeah. So do you want to, Leah, do you want to introduce the business? Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so um, I've been cleaning for probably the last five years and it was one thing that I had regular clients with, so I decided to make it a business in um, October of 2017 and we're just getting stronger and stronger, more and more clients, lots of regular weekly, fortnightly cleans and one-off cleans, exit cleans, just oh. spring cleans, all that sort of stuff. So that's that's cool. And I know that people are really busy now, so they're looking at people to come and help them through. Uh, you know, when they need the house cleaning. I know I'm one of those people. <laughs> well, I don't have a cleaner at the moment, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you're a busy person. You work all the time, and you you know you want your house to be nice as well, don't you? And it's quite hard to balance all of those things. Yeah, a lot of our clients are commuters, or they're just busy with lots of kids, or they just. Yeah, yeah cool. very busy lifestyles, um, running their own businesses as well. So, yeah, they um, give me a call and off I go and with my star cleaner, Bernie, here. <laughs> so, polish the house. <laughs> so, Bernie, you work for Leia. I do, So, yes. So what, what would a typical cleaning day sort of look like for you? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the day, but we do lots of different things. Um, it could be cleaning out a garage, it could be doing a window clean, it could be a one-off clean for someone who just needs some help for that day, um, or it could be weekly cleans. Um, we know it's not unusual for us to do six or seven um, domestic cleans a day. Wow. Um, yeah, so it's pretty full on. We're pretty busy. Uh, we try to, you know, like stick to our time frame. So if we've promised that, you know, that we'll be there at 10 o'clock, we'll try to be there at 10 o'clock. Wow. Obviously, sometimes because we're so thorough and we do a good job, <laughs> we don't leave the job until it's done. So there may be a few delays here and there, but. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so, so you've got a very busy day, I suppose, with all these things. So, is it just domestic cleans, or do you get to do things like? Because I know builders have post building yeah. cleans and things like that, which are a little bit more thorough. Yeah, we do the odd construction clean. We call it in the business, and it's 
that's um, one of the nicer cleans because you just really it's mostly dust and cleaning all the surfaces yeah, and yeah, getting ready yeah, for yeah, people yeah. to move in. So, gosh, mm. Mm. not having to go around furniture or behind furniture and stuff like that is um, mm. oh, it's refreshing. Yeah. I, can Im- I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine because yeah. you know I'm not. I, I like a clean house, but I'm not the kind of person that really enjoys housework too mm. much. <laughs> I don't think you'd be alone there somehow. <laughs> Luckily we do. <laughs> well, yes. yeah, well you would maybe have... not our own homes to quite the same level. <laughs> well but... that's a bit like that's a bit like builders, <laughs> isn't it? Because they you I, I, I the same sort of um complaints come from um builders' wives mm. when they go, Well my house is half finished. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. so yeah, so you must get a buzz out of cleaning. Do you like do you like seeing the finished product? Yeah, it's not so much the actual task, but the completed product, uh, completed job, and yeah. then the um, response we get from yeah. clients as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, one client I have who works a lot, and her house is always pretty immaculate anyway, but she notices when we've been, <laughs> which is really quite good because I kind of think, oh. <laughs> Doesn't have we actually been, but she yeah. notices, and yeah, it's really yeah. nice to get that feedback. So. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, it's a bit like when you mow the lawn, isn't it? The lawn looks like a mess, mm. and yeah. then some, you go in, and it looks so tidy and organised mm. once you've mowed the lawn. It's like I feel like that when the, somebody's done the vacuuming, because mm. yeah. it, it's, it's not like mowing the lawn really. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. takes up all the dog hairs, and yeah. it looks it looks neat. Because mm. I like a neat house, mm. I, but yeah. I, like when I, f- this is the problem with me, when I first. So I met my husband and I had we had three boys and my ha- I just gave up. <laughs> At around eight, when they were all around, eight, well, when my oldest one was about age five, I was just like, I'm not going to win the Lego battle. It's not, you know, so I, I gave up. I was I refused that I was going to do all the housework. Mm. So. <laughs> yes, I've got a five-year-old tornado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what would be a general sort of um, thing that you would do? I'd say I was a client and I went to, what, 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 would, be, what would be a general clean? How would I, you know, what would I do? What would, if I rang you and say, I want you to come clean my house, what would you ask me? Well, I'd say we'd come and have a look at your house yeah. first and then say, well, um, sometimes people want a full clean first initially yep. and then go on to having a basic clean as a regular. Right, okay. And so you can have a maintenance type clean. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. that that maintenance clean would involve basically spot cleaning all the walls, dusting every surface, cleaning your bathrooms, full scrub down, right. kitchen full scrub down, polishing all the windows and, you know, just that gets you back to a maintainable standard and then yep. the basic cleans basically mop, vacuum, dust, yeah, um, toilets. toilets, bathrooms, bathrooms, kitchen, wipe all the surfaces. <clears throat> Polishing the taps is the most important thing though. <laughs> a lot of people like <laughs> Shiny taps, uh, yeah, very mm. important. So, That's the yeah. attention to detail. I used to work in hotels um, many, many moons ago <clears throat> and um, I was a trainee manager. I had to spend time in each department and um, hotels find that it's very important to clean taps, oh, yeah. cleaning taps mm. and taking the dust off the mm. you know tops of things the attention to detail that goes mm. into that kind of cleaning is in that's a good in I a like good talk. hotel you know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the kind of attention to detail and the taps you know when I was selling my house I, my mum used to be like that oh, shine the taps <laughs> yes yes and, and it, it's just yeah. that small mm. yeah mm. they walk in and the taps are all shiny it's like and the mirrors it's weird yeah, yeah oh mirrors yeah absolutely yeah yeah and windows and those little details it's those little details that make a difference mm. because most people who do their basic clean <clears throat> wipe the benches in the kitchen or clean the shower and the toilet yep. and vacuum the floor and throw the mop around and you know but it's those little extra things like the polishing and the you know um, you know, when cupboard we cupboard doors, cupboard doors, yeah, yeah kitchen just, cupboards. Yeah, we always wipe those down. Um, <laughs> so all those little spots and stuff that get splashed on during the all the pets, you know, yeah. <laughs> like to throw their food around when they uh, eat. Well, yeah, I, just, I was, I've got clients coming after this <clears throat> radio show, and there's dog food on the floor, and my kids are at home, they won't pick it up. Yeah. You know, it's like, mm. can you pick that dog food up, please? Mm. You know, because they do throw it everywhere, don't they? Yeah, mm. they can do. <laughs> Especially that dry stuff, it's like little balls. You know, you find it everywhere, don't you? It's like you need a jackhammer to get it off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> true, yeah. true. That is so true. So um, you were talking about people, their homes are immaculate. Do you think that people clean up before they, you come? I think there are some that 
psychologically think, oh, you know. They'll think I'm terrible. I'll just, I'll just do a quick tidy up. So, some do tidy up, and some people um, with lots of kids pick everything up off the floor. Yeah. So That's that we really can at helpful. least clean the floor. Mm. But then I, I'm sure it goes back down again <laughs> but at least they know the cl- floor's clean for the little toddlers and yeah, babies yeah because yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had, I had this conversation with somebody I, was, I can't remember who it was the other day and I was saying I could do the cleaning she goes so could I but I'd end up cleaning up before the cleaner came and I said I probably would too <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah, it's, uh, it's more just making sure it's tidy yeah. right? you don't have to clean but you need to have the floor mm. clear so that we can clean it and you the know. other thing that's really important is, um, you know, sometimes we might get a call to say, oh, can you come and have a look and give me a quote on doing such and such. Um, mm. In that sense, it's really important not to run around and clean up, you know, because we need to see what we might expect. Exactly. You know, when we come yeah. in. So, um, yeah, yeah, it is it is best just to, you know, grin and bear and know that we've seen it all and nothing <laughs> oh. will shock us. <laughs> so do you get many teenage kids' bedrooms? Oh yeah, we've yeah. had f- um, some. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. nice to know that my teenagers were just the same as everybody else's. <laughs> I've got, I've got one that's sixteen, one that's thirteen, and one that's coming into the teens. And as they get older, their rooms get worse. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that. Mm. They do. I had one tidy one and one really like tornado one. <laughs> All minor tornadoes, and yeah. and the and the thing is, the sixteen year old one has started messing with the car, so the car oh. parts. <laughs> well, well, my oldest, and I won't name names, just in case he <laughs> ends up watching this or listening to this. <laughs> He never put clothes in his drawers. In his drawers, he had all his car bits and, you know, car parts and, (laughs) you know, torches and tools and all of those sorts of things. That sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. So the drawers were not designed for clothes in his eyes. (laughs) No, no. And I think that's the same with my son. I think he's he's not. Mm. But he's, you know, he's. Mm. I'm sure when I go to his house, he'll be immaculate when he gets older. (laughs) (laughs) So do you have any sort of tips or tricks of the trade you guys because mm. you know cleaners i tend to think that you know cleaning companies they will they you'll know these tips and hacks life mm. hacks i think one of the biggest things we've noticed is you know don't don't get sucked into buying just products you know if you go to briscoe's don't go to the cleaning section to buy things to clean because you'll find things in other places like leah um came up with a dentures toothbrush mm. And that awesome. is stunning for getting into the little corners and showers and wow. under the, you know, because yeah. it's got all the right little brushes in the right place to be able to do those sorts of things. So think outside the square yeah. for a start so is really, um, really good. Even things like um, um, to get dust out of little channels and windows and stuff, a, um, a painter's brush, you know, yeah. just yeah. flick it through. Oh, and gosh, that's <laughs> amazing. Because sometimes some interesting... even the vacuum cleaner won't suck it up. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And you must have some interesting, well, interesting tools then in your little kit. Yeah, well, I don't have a lot of commercial cleaning products. Yeah. We we use um, all most, well, 99% natural. natural or environmentally friendly products, but things like we don't use Jif or that kind of yep. product. We use Norwex cleaning products, yep. which um lined with silver so you don't even need the sprays but they do a right. way better job right much more cost effective but you know um also like bernie said about the toothbrush i go and look for things you know it, it can be a normal household thing it doesn't have to be mm-hmm. going and buying bam or those horrible <laughs> yes. chemicals you can get by without using chemicals and you know those yep. things as well if you're like i'm an asthmatic and, and i've got <clears throat> lots of allergies they yeah. can trigger off all those kinds of things mm. especially when yeah. i start and i'm allergic to mold the as well so you just is, is yeah horrible. and so we we <clears throat> clean based on how i would like my house to be cleaned yeah and i like my house to be cleaned more often than it is but um <laughs> I'm uh, surprised she hasn't asked me to do that. Yeah, um, <laughs> get in so you there. could do each other's house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we discussed that. But um, <laughs> things like some of our clients do have allergies, so we yeah. go in treating all clients as if they all had. Oh, that's allergies, cool. That's basically. a very cool yeah. um, selling point for your business. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we want them to f- know that they can walk in there without g- gasping for air, like you say. Or um, I know some clients have 
we've used their own products and you get into a shower after you've sprayed it with spray and wipe and, and you like just about, <gasps> yeah you can, yeah, yeah no. um, mm. and I'm the same it's not good even for us to mm. use those products so yeah. um mm. but there's other other products that we use that are really helpful you know when you want to clean your stove top yeah the yeah. glass cooktops how they get burnt on stuff yeah, yeah, that you just yeah. can't get off so there's products out there that are good to use um, cost effective but do a really good job yeah. without wrecking it. So Because um, ovens are such a pain, oh, aren't they? Do oven, you do oven cleans? Yes we do. Oh. Oh, yes we do. And we use we don't use um Caustic, normal awful, cost, horrible. Yep. No, it's awful stuff there. Oh yeah. So <laughs> what we use is Norwex oven cleaner, yep. which is a product I sell as well. I'm a Norwex independent sales consultant as well. Ooh. Because it works with the yep. cleaning business. Well it does, yeah. yeah. It works yeah. really well, yeah. And the oven cleaner's enzyme based so so from start to finish and being able to use your oven straight away, oh, it's that's about cool. half an hour that's to really an hour good. max. Yeah. And yeah. It's, you, you heat up your oven, spray it on, wait a few minutes, scrub it off, and there's no, you can you don't even need to wear gloves or goggles. You don't need to put newspaper on the floor, <laughs> masks. <No. yeah. laughs> It's it's real like your five year old can help you clean your oven. Yeah. And so you were you can do that even on a really dirty oven. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It might take more than one spray of treatment. Uh, but yeah. yeah. But you can get it all off with that. Yeah. yeah. And, and then what you do is from then on you will never want to have to go through that again. No. So you spot clean your oven once a month right. and you keep it clean rather than going oh dear it's that time of the year I've got to go and clean my oven and it's going to take a, a week before I can use it again it's, yeah. it's instant yeah. Yeah. And, it's and the price of the oven clean that includes a bottle of the Norwex <laughs> oven cleaner oh, so wow. whatever we don't use we you leave, leave it alone for keep, that yeah. Yeah. so what sort of price would you be looking at for that? That um, initial one-off cleans $135 mm. and it does sound like a lot but it's quite a of especially really grubby ovens, but the oven cleaner itself's valued at forty five dollars. Oh so, yeah, so um, it's not too bad. Mm. And the thing is, you know, an hour of your time saved yeah. oh, by well, you yeah. doing it, you know, is like uh, yeah. valuable. Yeah. I could be getting on with something else. Yeah. Instead of cleaning my yeah, own. yeah absolutely. <laughs> my husband did it last time for the first time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no one likes cleaning ovens, but I've no. had people go, "Oh my gosh, this product is amazing." Mm. Well, yeah. you're tempting me. Mm. Let me tell you. So yeah. Norwex do lots of natural stuff, don't they? Yeah, a lot of the uh, they they mainly have microfiber cloths, and the bulk of them have the they call it back lock, which is silver, which yeah. is woven into the cloth. So. Um, it cleans the germs off your bench and then over a 24-hour period the germs die because they can't live on silver. Oh, right. So the next day your cloth's good to use again. You can use them over a week and then maybe wash them. You don't have to wash them every day. Yep. Unless um, you're paranoid like me and you still wash them yeah. you know, every, every day. couple of days. Yeah. But, and yeah. we, we, but they don't smell like... Yeah, oh, that sounds good. Well, silver mm. killing germs, bacteria that mm. smells is it prevents that. Um, oh, nice. And we use it with the business, so but we have to wash them every day because we don't use the same cloth at a, every other house. Yeah, yeah. it's a new so cloth. each each house gets clean cloths as well. <coughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. so um, yeah. so there's a lot of benefits to coming to you guys. You yeah. sound yeah. like you're really onto it. And we often uh, color code our cloths as yeah. well. So you know, blue is poo. So blue cloths <laughs> for the toilet. Blue for loo. Green is clean. <laughs> Pink so, for sink. Yeah. Oh my god! You see, this so is what I love about I love <laughs> about businesses like yours is that you're so organised. I'm a creative, and my brain just fires yeah. off everywhere. It's just like I don't have organisation built into that. Well, I could do, but it's very hard. But mm. you guys sound like you've really got that sustained. It's kind of something that um, it's automatic now. We've yeah, been yeah, doing yeah. it for so long, and then when we introduce something new, we've got to. <laughs> Oh, got to remember that. <laughs> but a lot of the other Norwex has a lot of consumable products, but they're all either enzyme based or the cleaning paste, which is similar to Jif, yep. but it's made with ground up marble. Oh, nice. So they call it marble flour, and it works way better than Jif, but it's um, non abrasive. Oh, nice. So you can clean Plastic, crayon, crayon yeah. off the walls that your kids mm. have drawn all over the walls, and it doesn't damage it and it's good for like um, metals, certain metals, polishing stainless steel wow. Again on top of your um, your, your glass top. cooktops, yeah. yeah, it's really good on that, or sinks, tea stains yeah. coffee stains, all of that sort of well, stuff Yeah, because you get up. that, don't you, you get the yeah. tea or the red wine or yeah. the beetroot oh, yeah. on, the, on the bench or yeah. curry yeah. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yellow curry. <laughs> Gets the plastic marks, toy marks off the bath as well. Wow. Yeah, so, because um, they, you see them and you rub it and no, it doesn't come off all that. Mm. And good on shower glass mm. as yeah. well. So. Oh, so you're not using harsh bleaches or anything like no, that? No, 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 no. Um, some some um, clients ask us to use their cleaners because they, you know, they like to come home and smell that the house is clean. With the Norwex, unfortunately, because it's so natural, you don't walk into the house and go, oh, that smells clean, you know, because it, it, it doesn't, doesn't really well, have we've, a smell. We've, we've become associated with that being clean, haven't exactly. we? Because my husband hates strong smells. Mm. He even doesn't like air freshness, so mm. we really be into this mm. Norwex stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's the difficulty we've had because he, he, he gets he doesn't like strong smells. It upsets him. Mm. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So. so for those clients, we'll use their products and, yeah. um, and we won't use our Norwex cloths yeah. because... Um, 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 we save those, you know, like we don't want to ruin the Well, you will do if you start putting, from putting the yeah. chemicals on. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, we, mm. we're happy to work with client in that sense. If a, if a client, um, yeah, so we, we'll work with them one on, you know, like through and, that. And do you cover the whole of Wara Rapa? Mm. Yeah. Wow, so it could, it could be anywhere. Yeah, we've just been down the um, coast road, or oh, the road down to Tora, halfway down there. Wow, to have most a look of the and, way, yeah. Oh, yeah, almost all the way to Tora. Um, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Martinborough, um, the furthest <clears throat> north. We haven't quite made it to Ikatahuna yet, but <laughs> we, we, could uh, do, we could do, know, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's some nice big uh, properties yeah. down near Tora, mm. I reckon, I'd imagine. Yeah. And we do, um, we're looking at doing like Airbnb kind of. Yeah those sorts of cleans as well so um you know we the broad spectrum plus we do a little bit of like commercial work as well so yeah. small businesses and right. um, churches and so, so yeah. we also do like you know a lot of people might think that you know doing getting a cleaner in oh i've got to get someone in every week yeah. you know again if you just like um if you're about to get married or you know have a big party or something and you haven't got time to clean the house and you know give us a call we'll try and work in and come and do a one-off clean for you walk out the door again and we ne we don't expect that you know you're going to get us back week after week after week no, I did unless that. you choose to i did yeah. that when i was moving yeah, yeah yeah because you've got that big clean you've got to do before you move out of your house when they come and do, yeah, they that's do right, their the acceptance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we do those, um, we call those exit cleans yeah. in the trade, but um, we do those and we can do pre inspection or, you know, when you're showing your house, you want your house clean. Mm. Exactly. So Open we'll, homes, what a yeah. nightmare. Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, those are the very stressful times for people. So, they, uh, um, and yeah. it's good that you know that because it is stressful. Mm. And yeah. I bet the people in the house are going, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so susceptible to tipping at that point, you know, yeah. where you've got, you've got people coming through your house every week. It's yeah. so hard. Yeah. You've got to shift yeah. out. It is. It is. I so remember. Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday morning's your cleaning day, unless mm. you get somebody in like you, you know, yeah. it's like, Oh God! Have you seen the whole house before twelve noon? Yeah, you know. Mm. Yeah, no. So we we cover all those kinds of mm. cleans. And that's so um, that's so valuable, isn't it? That's such yeah. a valuable. That's and then you know the mm. lady I had in to do my exit clean. God bless her, you know, beautiful just to get that done. And I didn't yeah. have to worry about it because we had so much stuff to move and take mm. to the tip. You yeah. Know, oh, yeah. Just, yeah. just so hard. And mm. the other good thing is you don't have to worry about cleaning products. We bring everything to the job. Yeah. So some people go, oh, I'll leave this and that. I say, don't worry about it. Just take everything. We provide everything. It's and you'll come in, cost. in, go straight yeah. through the well, house. Having some hot water is useful. Yeah, hot water. <laughs> Water actually on. <laughs> and power. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, could could be difficult that, couldn't it, without water. <laughs> I mean that is a that is even though you've got these lovely cloths, you need yeah. need the water, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're sort of nearly halfway through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play uh, actually there's some interesting uh, events on this weekend. Um my band are doing its first wild rapper gig with our new guitarist Sam, so we are playing at Regent Fifty Eight with uh, and a couple of other bands, uh, and we did a practice on Saturday. We sounded pretty good. Hey, we're pretty onto it now, um, and that I was just so happy about that. But also on Sunday, if you want to get down to the coast because it's Wellington Anniversary Weekend, the Dead Zephyrs are playing at the Fakataki Hotel. Now that they're quite upbeat, you know, we've been in a couple of competitions 
with them at Battle of the Bands. That should be a really good gig. Um, they're pretty punky, you know, and I'm going to play the one of their songs now. That's called Why Can't I? And the, the, if you have been in Masterton and you've been on the, on the scene, they played at the Jackson Street Bar a few times. So this is called Why Can't I? And this is by the Dead Zephyrs. You're listening to 92.7 Arrow FM, and this is the Nothing Personal Show with Nikki King. Um, and um, we are sponsored by Wrapper Osteopathy and Fuzzlebox Designs, which is my business. Um, and we are part of the Wrapper Women in Business Facebook group. So we, I interview a woman, women or women or woman uh, from this group all, uh, w- once a week on a Monday goes out live on air 9:30 a.m. on the radio then it goes on to our app tv channel 41 uh, at 12 noon 
and then at 6 p.m. and then 11 p.m. or 5 p.m. today actually 12 p.m. 5 p.m. 11 p.m. today and 6 p.m. tomorrow and then it goes it's repeated on Arrow on at 9 p.m. on a Wednesday and we have a YouTube channel so you can watch it on the YouTube channel on the playlist on Wear Upper TV and also there's the podcast on Arrow so you cannot get away from this <laughs> which is you can pick all of that stuff up stuff up on the website where up are business women so yeah there's lots and lots of ways that and you can watch on the app of course the where up tv app so there's no excuses no excuses oh there you go sound like i'm at crossfit now anyway this morning in the studio i have got leah and bernie from uh where up a dream clean and they are, Leah is also a Norwex um, agent, so she was telling me all about these amazing Norwex products. So hello again, ladies. Hi, if, hi. So saying hello because if you've tuned, just tuned in. So <laughs> do you want to tell me a little bit more about these Norwex products, Leah? Yeah, Norwex um, originated in Norway 25-odd years ago, starting with one cloth, and the quality of the cloth just um, stood out. And... They started selling it yep. through parties, sort of like Tupperware, not naming names. Um, and it's taken off, it's all around the world. The product's m- mainly based on microfiber cloths, so the, the original Enviro cloth has over 3,000 kilometres of microfiber. Yep in each cloth so it would reach from here to Australia wow if you unwove it wow <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> is <laughs> that's, a, that's a crazy fact now it sounds crazy but what the, the, they define a microfiber by the thickness divided uh, a hair thickness yep. divided so yep. a minimum of six yep. times divided and the Enviro cloth is 200 times divided so you wouldn't be able to see it wow. as an individual thread but, but it's woven so much that yeah. obviously you can and uh, they work like little fingers when you're cleaning your surface so it just it cleans it's amazing product that's what i notice um you know when mm. i use a, a normal cloth i'm just pushing dust around yeah. you know like even a wet cloth on mm. a on a shiny kitchen bench if i you know think I'm cleaning the bench yeah. but all I'm doing is putting you know like the Spreading dust dust. just spreads yeah. around yeah. but on a Norwex cloth it actually disappears it's wow. in it the holds, cloth it yeah it. yeah because yeah, I've been an allergy sufferer it I've done dry. a lot of damp dusting you know yeah. to mm. get it well Norwex has some awesome dusting um, products oh <laughs> so they have a I should have brought some in but yeah. they have um, next time next time you get one. <laughs> they've got a dust mitt which you can wear on both hands and you rub it and it makes it electrostatic and then it, the dust just clings to the cloth oh. you wipe it and it, it actually s- you know, yeah. um, s- static sticks to the cloth yeah because I've got a lot of yeah. computer stuff that it just attracts the dust yeah. day eh? it's mm. just like mm. sits on your computer and mm. the screens are always hard to yeah. clean as well because mm. people put their fingers all over it mm. even yeah. though you tell them not to yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it's really good for that and it, it can get rid of fingerprints too if you rub it yeah, enough to. Oh, it's good nice. on TV screens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they need specialist treatment sometimes, don't mm. they? The t- television screens. Yeah. They've actually got um, cloths just for that. So, f- um, for glasses and cell phones and like screens, they've got special coatings. Yeah. So, they've got co- uh, what they call an optic cloth, and it's designed just for those wow. sorts of things. So, it doesn't remove that coating, the which film. I seem to have done to my glasses. Which yeah, I think I did that with my last <laughs> ones. I, I took the coating off and. Yeah. Um, now fingerprints just don't come off them anymore. Oh, OK, yeah, same. Um, but the, the, these, I've had only really good feedback from all these products, and mm. the window cloth and the Enviro cloth and the dust mitt are, like, the top three sellers, basically. Wow. And you could have just those to clean your whole house. That sounds amazing. Yeah, but mm. there's a whole range of products. There's tea towels and kitchen towels. And yeah. Oh, the body cloths, which are amazing for people using them to wash their face, and you don't need to buy cleansers and toners. Mm. You just need a good moisturiser because they exfoliate and they cleanse. And as they remove the germs or the bacteria, it's good for kids with teenage eczema. girls and yeah. boys with ex- a- a- acne and kids with eczema yeah. that, you know, can't have any cleansers. No. Amazing for that. And because um, they're guaranteed for two years. Wow, two years. So yeah. so you, you're paying a, an initial investment, but they last. Mm. Yeah, so, so for it's... a set of three of those cloths for $36 or... I think they've gone up by 50 cents. That's, um, you know, you don't need to buy... That, uh, you're saving about $170 over two years in mm. face 
cleaning products. That sounds yeah. awesome. I wouldn't mind giving that a try, actually. Yeah. You, you, you're dragging me in now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> especially cloths, because I yeah. love to have my computer screen clean, so that, yeah. that's a, a good good plan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm a graphic designer, so anything on the screen, you know, it gets in the way of the design. Yeah. You know, you're mm. focusing on somebody's fingers or some snot or something oh, yeah. on your screen. <laughs> I know. Well, you sneeze, daughter... don't you? People sneeze in front of your screen and it ends yeah. up on there, you know, oh, yeah. or flies. They crawl all over it. And, and just... Just on that, a tip, and when you're talking about toilets, when you've finished in the toilet, close your toilet seat before you flush it because it sprays out little droplets all over the wall. It's like a sneeze. They call it the sneeze effect. Mm. And um, you can, if you look closely, you'll see all these little splashes on the wall and who knows what's in those splashes. Mm. And for all those germaphobes out there... <laughs> It's just, your toothbrush will get that on if you've got... Uh, you know. yeah. Oh, yeah, it can go up to a metre or more, I think. Reason? Oh, yeah. man. I've got bars as well. Actually, we've got two bathrooms, so mm. I have the one that they use mm. and the one that I use. Yeah, I, yes. yeah, I yes. always close That's the toilet luxury. seat without, after every... That's what I do, too, after I've cleaned everyone's toilet, so I shut the toilet seat, because then I know I've cleaned it. Yeah, yeah, and there's nothing come back out of it because <laughs> you've flushed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so um, got, yeah. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, as I say, I've got these buys and the toilet is gross. Yeah. yeah. And the clients come in, they're going to use your toilet, guys, is it clean? You know, so I still have to run around when there's a client coming mm. just to make sure that uh, everything's clean. Yeah. Another tip with, with the Norwex, they've got a um, bathroom cleaner and it's right. got a descaler in it. So sometimes you see in toilet bowls they have that kind of brown yeah. and that's actually lime scale that's growing there so yeah. you can't scrub it out Just clean it with that um, bathroom cleaner and leave it in there for a few yeah. minutes and after about three cleans it goes away yeah so, yeah we just get a lot of that in britain because there's a lot of lime in the water yeah. mm. so you, you'd be looking at treating your toilet quite often with lime scale remover yeah. which is quite harsh and same with your jugs if you've got glass oh, jugs yeah you know I, I all i do is i fill the jug and i put some white vinegar in it a reasonable amount of white vinegar give it a boil tip it out fill it up with water again boil it again just to get all the vinegar residue out and it's like it's brand new off the shelf now you just made me think of something now <laughs> What about shower screens? Because they're the bane of everybody's life. Yeah, so initially, if you've got a brand new shower, get a squeegee after every shower, squeegee, squeegee it off. and dry it. Stops the lime scale building up. So that's that's going to never grow on there if you do that. If you have never used a squeegee and dry it off your shower, there's a product called Barkeeper's Friend. Oh, I've heard of that. Mm. I've heard. Amazing. Get it. It's on Trade Me. There's a company that sells it on Trade Me, and you couple of goes with that. It's a powder. There's a liquid, like a Jif kind of mm. liquid, but there's also the powder. The powder's a bit better, mm. and you just wet your shower, shake it onto the cloth, and then you just scrub it a few times. It may take you know a few treatments yeah. to to break through that builder, but um, it does make a difference. Yeah, it gets yeah. it back to like see-through glass mm. instead of you know, milky looking glass. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. It's quite annoying that, isn't mm. it? It's just mm. like, wow. How do you how do you stop that? But you can't really, can you? You just gotta well, treat you can. it. The squeegee. The squeegee. Or, or dry it with a cloth, but it's mm. easy to squeegee it and then give it a, a yeah. get your Norwex window cloth to polish it afterwards. <laughs> of course. Now of try course. and get your teenage boys to do that. <laughs> oh. Well do you know the in their bathroom the glass is like a patterned one so it's not so Mm. It doesn't. Mm. It's not so bothery. Mm. Browers is clear mm. class, and mm. you know you got to get your husband to do that after mm. the shower. Yeah. Well, even if it's done once a day. All right. Okay. So as long if you dry last, it off. Yeah. You're the last yeah. to shower. You just you squeeze it and dry it, and it stops the lime scale staining. Amazing tip. Glass is not smooth. If you microscope it. It looks like a little mountain ranges. <laughs> like well, because yeah. glass is actually liquid. It is, it's yeah. Really ha- it's a mind buzz, that is, but it is. Yeah. It's a liquid. It is, because yeah. if you go to the old ones, the liquid is... Yeah. The Pulled. windows are yeah. fatter at the bottom than yeah. they are at the top of yeah, the glass. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's weird, isn't it? It is. <laughs> the, fa- the fact you find out on the Nothing Personal Show. <laughs> <laughs> You've had lots of hacks this morning, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Yes. Oh, there's so many little things, and um, 
if we don't know, we find out too. We'll we'll research it if we need to. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Mm. We're um, always trying to find ways to make things work better. Yeah. You know, in in a clean. So yeah. you know, often with grout and stuff like that, yeah. and showers and that, they can get quite mucky. And you know, it doesn't matter how much you try and clean them. Um. So we're always researching and yeah. looking for yeah, yeah, yeah. ways to be able to combat that, so mm. that you know, it really does. Yeah. Um. And again, the Norwex paste with with a dentures brush. Yeah. Oh, good on the grout. Because you do you do get mould under the grout as well, which yeah. is and really frustrating. And chemical reaction from soaps and shampoos that give mm. you that pink yeah. kind of build up. Yeah. You know that's. Um, oh, I didn't yeah. know that that was a chemical reaction. I've been having yeah. that in the shower, like yeah, a it's pink, a bit like a mould, yeah. a pink mould. Yeah. Mm. But um, don't use bleach on your tiles on your grout because it can yellow it ah. yeah. um, and it's also t- you know it'll probably it's eat away at it so yeah. we just use sometimes you can get away with just the toothbrush yeah or um, even a bit of um, I use eco store multi-purpose cleaner yeah and you just spray it on quite you know concentrated and it just scrubs off mm, mm. Um, you just the, the thing is you've got to keep at it you can't just do, do it, it and then leave it for a year you, if you if you're doing it when you're in the shower, for instance, you have a shower and yeah. you just have a quick clean of your grout and it's really easy mm. rather than... You can actually buy grout cleaning products, but you don't need to if no, you do it No, if right. you keep on top of it. Yeah. Mm. So this would be something you might do in your regular cleans mm. yeah. around yeah. Mm. save someone like me having to do it. Yeah, so it would be done every week and if we see a little bit of build-up, we would clean yeah. it off. So it would just be... Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of kind of natural we just do it we don't even think about it like tiny shoelace or driving car yeah. yeah and the other thing that's good is most of the time where possible there's two of us that go in and clean yeah and and we see different things mm. yes. so you know it's like and so, and like leah might be spectacular at a particular job and i might be spectacular at something different mm. and you might and enjoy so, those things differently yeah, and so we work oh. well with each other and you know if yeah. we notice things it's like oh do you want to just grab the vacuum cleaner and just you know, flick that up, or mm. you know, um, you know, there's just that bit down there, or you know, it's just we work well together. Cool. Um, so it yeah. sounds like you do. Sounds like you've, mm. you've got a really good rapport. Well, Lena <laughs> used to clean my house. <laughs> that's then, how we got into that. That's how I got into and this. And then she's going to come and clean my house. <laughs> I come had clean with me, but um, I, I kind of don't really need her at the moment. But yeah, I don't. Well, I, as I get busier, it's mm. g- I'll, I'll probably have someone full time every day. Mm. No, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm building up. I'm wanting to build it up to make it a, you know, big a bigger business. business. Mm. I want to expand. So you're on a you're on a growth phase at the yeah. moment. Then yeah. yeah, that's cool. And I think this is a this is a is a growing market, mm. especially as women get busier. Because oh, the yeah. other thing that Leah does is um, cleans carpets when it's warranted, oh. um, and also um, mows lawns occasionally. Yeah. So I don't know, is it light, be- light garden maintenance. <laughs> we do um <laughs> Yes. Um we do light garden maintenance. They so so. could do everything really. If you yeah. just wanted one person to, to, to come in and mm. yeah. Light yeah. garden maintenance, not like heavy. Yeah, like pull a couple of yeah. weeds and trim a couple mm. of yeah. small lawns. Light light stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um I do have one client, we mow the lawns for him. And I believe you're gonna be ironing. Oh yes, I've just. Uh, we had a um, bit of mirth in the in yes. the break about ironing <laughs> and me not knowing what an iron was. Uh, yeah, I, I just discovered one the other day. Uh, no, oh dear, <laughs> was it an antique? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, just I know a lot of gentlemen and ladies that you know work in the corporate area and haven't got a lot of time. They want to, especially commuters. Yeah. They don't want to have to iron their shirts on the weekend no. ready for work. So, no. I've just brought on the service of ironing and we will pick up and deliver unless you want to drop it off to us but um for 25 dollars you'll get 10 items that's ironed. that's really reasonable yeah that's really reasonable I'm now i was wondering if it should be more but you know <laughs> if mr k's watching he'll be interested in that <laughs> he has shirts every day five yeah. shirts you know so yeah people that yeah trousers shirts blouses skirts hey that rhymes yeah, that <laughs> yeah you should remember that what did you how did you say oh, that yeah, that's your yeah. tagline trousers da, 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 da. yeah um anything yeah and i'm looking to um bring in more kind of services but yeah we'll stick to where we are at the moment so yeah cool yeah. well i'm going to slot in another extra song today not that these guys not got a lot to talk about you're <laughs> awesome but uh, i'd like to sort of just throw a, a spank song in today 
because we've got a gig at the weekend with uh, our new guitarist who's worked very very hard to get up to standard for this gig um and we're playing at we're going to the marvelous regent 58 brewery and i've got to say as an english person per- persian person <laughs> i'm not an english persian i'm an english pers- person person <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak this morning. I had too much coffee. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, Maybe not enough. <laughs> so as an English person, uh, the Region 58 beer is as near as, damn it, that you can get to British real ale. It's really, really good. Um, so And there's taco about it down there. Taco about it. Uh, pop-up taco yeah. shop. Looking forward to tasting that. Um, and there's three bands on, and it's always a really good night at Regent 58. It's so chill that, you know, you just have a great time down there. So Spank are uh, playing down there, and I'm sure we will play this one, and we usually get the crowd pumping and singing with this, and this song is called Crazy Life. Society. 
Hello, you've been listening to 92.7 Arrow FM and this is the Nothing Personal Show with Nikki King. And we were just listening to Spank, which is my band, and we're playing at Regent 58 on Saturday at 7pm. So make sure you get down there to see the live show. The live show is much better than the recorded version. It's much more full on. OK, well, this morning we've got uh, Leah and... Bernie in the studio from Where Up a Dream Clean, and we were just talking in there about how cleaning can keep you fit. And I was just talking about my CrossFit thing, you know, my CrossFit journey and my vlog, and that's Nikki's CrossFit Journey. Nz. If you want to go over there, read my vlog, watch my vlog. Um, and I'm doing that with CrossFit Manaya. But yeah, we do functional fitness, and it sounds like you do functional fitness in your job. That's the best thing. I don't have to pay gym memberships. <laughs> So we should all come and be cleaners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 because no, we'll do it for you. <laughs> no, you that's right. This figure. Yeah, I, I know you're looking. You're looking. You're looking really well, girls. There, you look awesome. The, you th- do. the good thing is, though, that we do get because we get such a full range of movement and yeah. uh, cleaning. You know, we're stretching to get those cobwebs up there, and we're scrubbing down here, and we're yeah. lunging when we're vacuuming, and that's right. Squatting in the shower, up and down. <laughs> we're gonna wax on and wax, <laughs> on. wax on, wax off. So you'll be doing karate next. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, if if a, if a client has got children at home, you know, when we're yep. when we're there, it's the school holidays. You know, we might. Might have a game of um, was it Nerf the Nerf gun? Oh, that's quite good cleaning, fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, one one day yeah. yeah. <laughs> My kids would love that. When's the exception. cleaner coming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one one house where there's a little dog, the cutest oh. little dog, and so I throw his toy and then I'll carry on. He comes back with it, throw it again. Yeah. So I exercise dogs at the same time. So that's another. All the dogs $10. like to attack the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah. One, one dog is like. <laughs> oh yeah, my dog. My dog doesn't like the vacuum cleaner either. You know, it's. it's... I don't know. I reckon. I reckon the dog was enjoying it mm. rather than. You it's know, it's, it's, a, like, it's a, like a game, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like don't attack the vacuum because then they go for the mower then, and mm. you're like, that's a bit more dangerous, dog. You're gonna end up with no <laughs> nose if you do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if they want, because we're getting quite close to the end of the show yeah. here, um, I want to get this in before we finish. Yeah. Um, how can they get? in touch with you if you want to book a clean with you so have you got you've got a website yep so my website is www.wirarapperdreamclean.co.nz that's pretty simple and my email address is leah at wirarapperdreamclean.co.nz i also have a facebook page yep. wirarapper dream clean and my mobile is 020 416525 <laughs> it's a new number, so I can't quite. I think it's, it's on your website, I would imagine. It is on my website yeah, yeah, and my so Facebook page. Head so. over to Wire Rapper Dream Clean. Yes. Um, and are all the prices on there? Yep, there's um, under services, it's got all the services, and then there's structured pricing. And yeah. then there's some jobs are kind of priced by application. But, so then you yeah. need to go and have a look at the job. But yeah, but there's base prices, and we always come and visit the client before we start. Right, that's a good idea. So that we can say well actually this isn't as much as what you think or well, you might need this or yeah so could you like say oh well i've only got this budget what can you do for that could yep. you do like my main areas and my toilets or something mm, like yep, that mm. yeah we'll come and talk about that but it's also good to have that personal touch and yeah yeah, yeah. Us and not mm. have a complete stranger turn up and you well, i think it is i do that with websites you know it's like people go oh they ring you up and they go um how much is it for a website? And it's mm. like, well, how long is a piece of string? You know, mm. I'm going to have to meet with you, see what you want. Mm. You know, you, know, you might want a one-page website, you might want a shop, you might want a booking yeah. system, you know, it's like, I don't know. Yeah. You know, and so. where possible, we always try and keep, well, Leo tries to keep the same cleaners with the same job yeah, so yeah. that people know who's coming into their house. And if there is a change because someone's sick or, you know, whatever, then um, yeah. Leah will normally call first and make sure they're okay with someone different coming to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing with Leah, she's got indemnity insurance. Oh, so if there's any um, oh, damage nice. to the property or anything like that, you know, you can be rest assured that that can yeah. be covered. Because it can be quite worrying to have somebody in your house, isn't it? You've got a lot of valuable things, you know, and it's not always the really valuable things. It's the, 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 the keepsakes that you'd yeah. really be upset if they sort if of that, yeah. if got you damaged and or, something accidentally, yeah. you know, or whatever. Um, the other thing too that's worth noting is, I was just going to say something and it's just gone out of my brain. <laughs> Don't you hate that? <laughs> The other thing you're going to say is? Uh, the indemnity insurance. Um, I can't think. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's going to be on the <laughs> website. We, we do have a privacy policy and yeah. um, a lot of clients, we 
have either a key access or they have a key for us. So we get them to sign this thing that yep. we both agree we're going to look after them. We're not going to talk about them or where they yeah, are. Where yeah. they are because we're just there to clean. That's it. Well, that's it. And you yeah. know, you wouldn't get any decent mm. high profile clients if you were telling their business, oh, no. you know, spreading no. the secrets around town. We don't yeah. clean for Peter Jackson yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, Peter, if you're watching the Nothing Personal show, you might be. <laughs> <laughs> Wear up a dream clean, <laughs> especially for Hobbiton. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's a bit far. But, uh... <laughs> but actually, the other thing I was going to mention is if we're cleaning your home and we notice a maintenance issue, like yeah. sometimes we notice showers leaking yeah. um, and stuff like that, then um, we let the homeowner know so that they've got the opportunity to do something about it or not. If you know, if it's not it's, what they want to do, but it's so, just so good to know. have that around your house, though, isn't it? You know, because yeah. you don't you don't don't go around with the same level of um, intensity yeah, in your you own know, home you know just brush you... around with it don't you yeah. and it's just like you know a lot of things people have, haven't even known were happening and we've because we're looking in areas you don't that mm. we've been able to say oh you've got a leak going through your wall to your toilet from your butt, your shower and you're wow. like oh my goodness so yeah. um, they can oh. Yeah. yeah, or I've noticed mouse mouth droppings or something yeah. like that. Yeah, know? and mice can so. be a pain, can't they? <clears throat> they really do cause quite a bit of damage. Mm. But you, you find them in dead ones in interesting places too. <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, you've not moved that for a while, have you? There's no. a dead mouse there. <laughs> <laughs> I think the other thing I know we're running out of time is that we're open to feedback. So oh, please, yeah. you know, if if something's not to what you thought you were getting, yeah. or you want something specific done that we've not done then don't hesitate to contact Leah yeah. and let her know she's very open to um, to that sort of feedback. So it's quick, really important. Quick question. What's your favourite cleaning job? I'll start with you, Leah. I, I, as weird as it sounds, my favourite jobs are bathrooms. Yeah. Especially ones that haven't had a good clean for a while because I like to go in there and then people... They're quite satisfying, They walk in there like, oh, wow. <laughs> <I> <laughs> you don't can know make what. a lot of difference in there. What about you? And kitchens, so I'm... I'm oh, kitchens, kitchens yeah. can be... You see, I'm, yeah. I'm a bit of a stickler for the bench tops have to be... My kids don't clean. They clean mm. the kitchen, not wipe the benches. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. My husband, dear, my gorgeous husband. <laughs> I hope you're not he's watching. Brilli- he's brilliant at oh, tidying up, but he doesn't notice the puddles on the bench or the no, sticky man. shit over it, there. It's a boy. It's a boy so thing. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Benches. Oh, like I can't clean until the, bench, the benches are clean, until the mm. kitchen is clean. It's yeah. very important for me the kitchen is clean. Mm. That's the mm. one place. And the sink. I always like the, cl- I the sink to be really clean. She know. tells me off when I haven't cleaned the sink <laughs> properly. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, it sounds like you uh, work really well together. So, if you yeah. need a cleaner out there, guys, you, you've seen them on here. They're really approachable. Make sure you book with Wire Up a Dream Clean, they're, and, and they're so much fun. I've had so much fun this oh, morning. Thanks. It's been so you know you're going to get somebody you can get on with. Um, we're co- we're drawing to the end. It's now ten twenty seven. Um, and you've been listening to Nothing Personal with Nikki King um, and Leah and Bernie from Wire Up a Dream Clean. We'll be back again next week at 9.30 with some more fantastic guests. You can catch this show um, today at 12, at 5 and at 11 on Wire Up a TV, Channel 41. And you can catch this again on Wednesday at 9pm, repeated on Arrow. Also, you can watch on YouTube. You find the Wire Up TV playlists and nothing personal. You can go back and watch others from way back a year ago. And um, you can also watch it on the app if you're not in New Zealand as well. You can get it on the app. So it's like pretty cool. Um, and um, yeah, next week we'll have some more guests. Thank you for being a fantastic guest. Thank you, Thank Leah. You. Thanks Thank for the you, Bernie. No, I've had so much fun this morning. It's It's been oh. really cool. Um, and you've taught me into Norwex and oh, cool. um, <laughs> perhaps some cleaning. <laughs> Let's see where the budget is. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. So I'll see you all again next week, guys, and goodbye. Thank you.